Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a tutorial slash get ready with me. It's a very simple look. It's very similar to what I wore in my March favorites and also in my beauty haul that I did um, last week. So I'll link last week or the week before. So I'll link those down below if you haven't seen them. But yeah, this is a very simple look. As you probably know, I like simple looks. It's kind of what I do on a daily basis, but I'll definitely have more tutorials for makeup tutorials because uh, prom season is coming up and I definitely want to do more makeup tutorials with heavier eyes, uh, smoky eyes and things like that. So um, yeah, but today I'm using kind of some new products for the face, which right now the lining is, it's, it's, uh, later than when I started filming. When I started filming it was great at lighting, but um, yeah, I'm using new products for my face and also the lipstick, which I really like. It's by Les Watier. They're liquid lipsticks. Also, my nails are Impress Nails, if you're wondering. Um, here they are. It's these. Um, the coral ones. Yeah, anyways, I really like these nails. Um, but yeah, it's a super easy look, and also I'm showing you kind of a few tips and tricks on how to do wing liner for hooded eyes with a pencil like this and yeah I'm just using a few new products and um, yeah it's a, my one of my simple looks but I thought we'd share with you because I think you like makeup tutorials and using different products can be fun sometimes and um, yeah so I really hope you will enjoy and I'll see you in my next one bye I'll be using a new foundation this is by Urban Decay it's the Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup so I have it in the shade 4.5 because I'm quite tan at the moment so this foundation is super duper liquidy it almost feels like water which I kind of like because it's super natural on the skin so and I just use the uh, same brush that I used which is really great it blends out the foundation so quickly and also just the foundation is very liquidy so it blends really nicely onto the skin through but it covers everything that you need to cover so it just makes a very beautiful finish and it doesn't feel like you have anything on your skin it just feels really great so I really like that and now moving on to concealer because I have to cover up my under eye circles I'm just using the uh, Lisuati portfolio mine um, <laughs> is definitely a little dirty so I'm just gonna be using the lightest shade to cover up my under eye circles I'm going to use the same brush to blend and then to brighten my face basically I'm going to be using this product by Clarence it's a instant light brush on perfecter so it's basically kind of a um, a highlighting pen with no shimmer it's a very light highlighting concealer basically so I'm just going to Add a little bit underneath my eyes so in my t-zone I don't like to use actual concealer in my t-zone to brighten just because it, it would be too cakey but this is super light and brightening if you like the kind of bright highlighter look in the t-zone I definitely recommend using a light highlighting concealer um, it's not gonna be cakey and it's still gonna highlight so um, Many brands make these. This one is by Clarence. I really like the ones from Elizabeth Arden. I've tried the one from Sephora. MAC has one, YSL. So many different brands make them. So they're really great. Next, I'll set my T-zone and under eyes with this powder by Guerlain. This is the Mental Hits Compact Pearl. So I'm just going to be using that with a brush by Sonia, uh, no, Charlotte Tilbury. Next, I'm going to be taking the uh, Urban Decay Naked Flushed Little Palette. So it basically comes with a bronzer, a highlight, and a blush. I've been using that. I've been using this compact for the past week, and I really, really like it. You basically have everything you need for your face. Um, the bronzer has a little bit of shimmer in it, but not too much, so it still kind of sculpts your face, and um, I love the highlighter. It's super pretty, and then the blush as well, so I love this little compact. They have a few different shades. If you don't want these exact colors, they have a few different ones, but I have the flushed one, or a naked 
I'm not sure. It's the Naked Flushed Naked. So, um, I'm going to be using that with a F20 by Sigma, which I quite like for bronzer. So I'm just going to define my cheeks a little bit. I'm not doing any contouring. Just kind of sculpting my face. Next, I'm also going to be using the blush. And the brush that I'm using is by Tweezerman. It's a blush brush. And then I'm going to be using the highlight, which I love. It's such a pretty highlight. It's kind of like a champagne color. It's super pretty. And then I'm also just going to be using the bronzer with the E40 by Sigma. I'm just going to apply that in my crease. Take a smaller uh, brush. This is an E45. Yeah, E45. I'm gonna run it on my lower lash line like that, and then I'm just gonna take the same brush again, dip it in the highlighter, apply it in my inner corner, also right underneath my brow. And then in the center of my lid. Next, I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply the Falsies mascara by Maybelline. Now I'm just gonna wait until the mascara dries as usual, as usual, and I'll just remove where I have some on my lid. And then I'm gonna curl my lashes again, apply some more mascara. So while that dries, I'm just gonna um, go on with my brows. So I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Brow Drama, which you know I really like I guess I'm gonna be using a liquid lipstick by Guizwati these are called the Busy Velour and the one that I'm gonna be wearing today is in Nude Kiss I actually wore this in my last makeup haul and also in my March favorites yeah, March favorite. So this is a lipstick that I was wearing. So I'm just gonna apply it. I really, really like the color of this. I wear it a lot. It just goes with everything and it's such an easy color to wear and also they last a very long time on your lips so I quite like that one. Now I'm going to do a slight wing liner so I'm going to be using uh, a pencil by Urban Decay. This is the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Roach. So since I have hooded eyes it's a bit more tricky so I'm just going to follow the line, uh, my top lash line like that and I'm just going to draw a line. And when you do this make sure to look straight in the mirror and then again looking straight in the mirror. I'm just gonna draw another line and connect it. I like to tight line and apply a little bit on my waterline. <laughs> to make it even when you have hooded eyes because well for me both of my eyes aren't hooded the same so it's a little harder but um, when you use kind of a pencil it's easier because it kind of has a smudgy look which 
you don't have to be perfect when you do a smudgy look like I did today. So yeah, it's not perfect, but it, when you look straight in the mirror, it's easier to do because if you close, because if you close your lid, then you don't really know where to connect the lines. So it's a little bit trickier. If you want me to do a full video on how to apply liquid liner for hooded eyes, I could definitely do it. I'm not perfect, but I can definitely share a few tips and tricks with you. Okay, so that is pretty much it. I really hope you enjoy. My cat wants to get out of my room, so I'll finish that quickly. Really hope you enjoy. You can like the video if you did. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. You can follow me on all of my social media platforms. All the links will be down below. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!